Today from the Global Lane, U.S. national security at risk. How China is using two of America's closest allies as a backdoor to steal vital technology. Their target is the citizen, it's you and me. Japanese Julian Assange, the IT journalist facing prison time for exposing alleged complicity with Chinese spying and the theft of U.S. defense secrets. I'm ready to go to prison. And state audits of 2020 presidential election ballots. Big lie or big steal? I've never had a case with this degree of quality to the evidence in my entire career. And it's all right here on The Global Lane. Communist China is on the move, doing all it can to steal secrets vital to U.S. national security interests. And our next guest alleges that the CCP is using two of America's most trusted allies as a back door to funnel U.S. military technology to Beijing. Jason Ho is chief technology officer for the Revitron Company and lead designer of the F-35 flight control and image display systems. Jason, thanks for being with us. So you allege that China's using Japan and Taiwan as a backdoor to steal technology vital to U.S. national defense. You talk about a network of powerful Chinese communist families, the so-called Green Gang or Bamboo Network, and their family members that are operating in Taiwan and Japan. Give us an example in Japan. How are they stealing U.S. secrets and technology? There are two and the extraordinary examples. First, and there's a Green Gang front-end company. They disguise their name as a Taiwan. People think Taiwan is against China. So we talk about to the Japanese government about this company. They're going to take over the most important company called the Panasonic semiconductor, but we cannot stop it. Now they are controlling even our F-35 and Japan F-15, the radar chips. This is a, one example. And it's not just spying, it's outright theft too. You mentioned the chips. Less than two years ago, the Trump administration brought indictments against, against the Huawei company for allegedly stealing robotic technology from T-Mobile. Tell us how the CCP is using Huawei and also explain how corporate relationships are affecting the semiconductor chip shortage, especially for the F-15 in Japan. And a lot of people doesn't know Huawei is not a company. This is an organization. And Huawei has been working with the TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Conductor Corporation, Manufacturing Corporation, for a long time. And this is the most important ally. So they are very smart because they are from the same family. If you look at uh, and 50 or 70 years ago, actually, they're from the same family, they're from the same neighborhood. And this is the way how Chinese run their business. So Huawei very smartly knows how to use Taiwanese company to infiltrate the industry to get information out. And you were a victim of that. And uh, we're going to talk a little later to uh, the journalist who's covering this about that. And it's not just Japan. Tell us about those three pillars shaping China's IT industry how it was used in Taiwan to steal those secrets about the most advanced U.S. fighter jet, the F-35. And people are not familiar with uh, the China so-called unrestricted war warfare because their target is not only the government. Their target is the citizen, it's you and me. Because in the, in the industry, in reality, a lot of creations come from the small entities, from the mid-sized companies, not just big one. If and China hack into the Facebook, everyone will think that's very big news. But if China hack into computer, you talk to anyone, people will say that's really happened. But that's how the China strategy, because in the industry, a lot of small companies, we create something because we can share the risk. Also, we have more freedom to do things. So we are the target for those companies and uh, from the TSMC, from the Huawei, and they know how to attack us because we are vulnerable. And that not only affects business, but also our everyday lives. So why should the average American then be concerned about this happening right under our noses? Two of our top allies being used as a conduit for CCP spying and theft. Because, and the people doesn't understand, they think the CCP issue is just for government, just for big corporations. Actually, it's not. It's for every one of the American, because they are a very different concept. This is the regime. They have no interest to come to the battlefield to fight with the U.S. forces. But they want to infiltrate our society because they know once they control us, we are the majority. 
then they can control the U.S. government, they can control the society, they can control everything here. And what should we do about it, Jason? It's very tough because, and I'm trying to do my best to explain people and to understand the CCP strategy because myself, I'm an example, I'm the creator, I invented many important technologies, but on the other hand, I'm a small one, but I'm still keep surviving. So if I can fight with the CCP, no matter what kind of tools they use to and uh, to the torture me, but I still survive. I think that's the important message can deliver to people. As long as we fight, as long as we stand up, understand we are on the justice side, then we can win this war. Okay, Jason Ho, Chief Technology Officer of Revatron, lead designer for the F-35 flight control and image display systems. Thank you, Jason, for being with us. Thank you, thank you for having me here. When we return, we'll hear from a member of the Japanese government about this and a journalist who is facing three years in prison for exposing Chinese influence in Japan. Life is better with a good night's sleep. Get your free DVD or booklet of Protect Your Sleep as the world watches from the outside. It's a big diplomatic tug of war here in the Middle East. Go inside the story with Jerusalem Dateline. Israeli archaeologists are talking about a discovery that could change the thinking about the Temple Mount. Join CBN Jerusalem Bureau Chief Chris Mitchell and get the biblical perspective on the events shaping the world. It's what starts in Israel then ends up going to other places. Watch Jerusalem Dateline Friday night at 8.30 on the CBN News Channel. Life, it's meant to be lived fully. Jesus said it, I came to give you life, life to the fullest, life in your family, life in your finances, life in your body, mind, and spirit, life in your every day. At CBN.com, we're taking what Jesus said seriously. We're here to help you discover life. Life. Live it fully. CBN.com. just heard from defense technology expert Jason Ho alleging that China is using American allies, Japan and Taiwan, as back doors to steal technology vital to U.S. national defense and security. Well, now let's meet the Japanese journalist who first exposed all of this. She's likely to spend three years in prison for violating the country's conspiracy law. IT writer Moi Fakata and says she did nothing wrong when she revealed information about this nefarious activity. And here with the Japanese government's perspective is Mr. Yoshiaki Harada. Congressman Harada is a member of Japan's cabinet and House of Representatives. First, Congressman Harada, these are serious spying allegations exposed by Ms. Fukada and Mr. Ho. Are these just a few bad actors or is it an organized effort by the Chinese Communist Party to use Japan as a conduit for obtaining U.S. technology and defense secrets? As a politician, I've been in a very good, uh, uh, very deep uh, uh, commitment to the Japanese uh, uh, diplomacy or relationship with China. So uh, we are very afraid and uh, I am, have a very uh, uh, strong antagonism so about the uh, Chinese uh, uh, expansion. This is my one of my uh, main uh, political Policies. We are afraid that the, uh, the Chinese uh, development of uh, cyber uh, the technologies in Japan is, uh, we must say that is now becoming delayed 
uh, with these uh, technologies. Boy, you write that Japan is no longer a country with Japanese interests in mind. China has become a dominating factor. So tell us more about that and why you pursued the story. Um, because I figure out how Chinese Communist Party stole, stole um, military technology from Japan to China. So I figure out um, a person who has Japanese identity. Actually, that person is not real Japanese. He is belong to PLA. They stole Japanese identity, becoming a Japanese citizen and act, act, acting as a Japanese to access to restricted uh, military technology. It's coming from the U.S. And they, he stole that technology coming from the U.S. and uh, transferred that technology to China. Jason invented the technology for the technology for F-35. It's a um, it's a um, real-time video transmission system. It's a critical um, critical technology for um, for um, remote control of the of the robot and uh, and the flight flight system. And I understand there are also concerns about a possible shortage of semiconductor chips from Chinese connected suppliers for F-15 fighter jets in Japan. Uh, semiconductors are one of the very big problems we find right now. And so I am a main member of the uh, uh, congressman's uh, 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 meeting and organization to uh, help uh, semiconductor industry uh, to uh, speed up. And so we are very afraid. And uh, from the uh, uh, in import from China, I don't uh, well uh, uh, agree to it. And yet the Taiwan uh, companies are very energetic for it. So uh, Japanese companies and governments are now uh, are trying to uh, find their own self-production as well as where from the uh, uh, import uh, uh, to uh, uh, supplement the, the Japanese needs. Boy, you've been sharing concerns about Chinese influence and spying in Japan for many years now. Have you been threatened? Do you fear for your life? Uh, yeah. Uh, actually, um, my my car tire had a very big nail from the side. So I was, already, I was almost um, made an accident. And also my grandfather's factory almost burned. And you were actually defamed mm -hmm. on social media and then detained by the police. Now it looks like uh, you'll go to prison for three years. So many Americans would find that hard to believe. And many think that uh, Julian Assange of WikiLeaks uh, has a similar case. So just like him, they would think that you're being silenced to protect powerful people. So what do you think? Uh, you ready to go to prison? I'm ready to go to prison because um, I want to wake up Japanese people. Our country already penetrated by Chinese Communist Party. If I go to prison, I can wake up 1,000 Japanese people every day. And if I go to jail three years, I can wake up a million Japanese citizen. Congressman Harada, mm -hmm. what do you think? Should she go to prison? She really explained it very deeply so that uh, I will became very uh, sympathetic to it. I don't think uh, she will go to uh, p uh, prison, uh, you know, by any means. And, and it must not be that done that way. Her uh, deeds are not so uh, uh, criminal level, so uh, I, as a lawyer, of course not committed yet, but the, as a lawyer, I will protect her from the from that kind of uh, uh, misunderstanding. Uh, we are uh, uh, always standing on the very uh, neutral and uh, very right positions. That's why uh, 
she was also telling me about that. But uh, I, as, as far as I understand, uh, as far as I, uh, I think myself, I will, uh, she will never uh, go into jail by any means. Okay, our thanks to you both. Congressman Yoshiaki Harada for your brave uh, bravery and willingness to share your thoughts about this on American television. And Moe Fukada for your persistence to uncover the truth. Thank you both. Thank you. Daddy? Yeah, buddy? How many nickels are in a dollar? There are 20 nickels Look, in a dollar. How do birds fly? Does milk really make my bones stronger? Yeah, yeah. Daddy, when we die, will we go to heaven? Do you have the answer to life's biggest question? Call the 700 Club. We'll help you find answers to the important questions life brings your way. Watch breaking news, in-depth exclusive stories and programs from health to entertainment. You won't find anywhere else. The CBN News Channel, a perspective you can trust. Enjoy credible news reporting from around the world. Discover inspiring programs and stories of hope, all in one place from a Christian perspective. The CBN News Channel, a perspective you can trust. To watch the CBN News Channel, download the app or visit cbnnewschannel.com. Hello, I'm Dr. David Perlmutter, board-certified neurologist and number one New York Times best-selling author. Wouldn't it be great to boost your energy, eliminate brain fog, and even reverse brain disease? Well, you can, and I'm going to show you how, along with some of the world's most well-respected brain experts, in this DVD, Protect Your Brain. Get Protect Your Brain, a free DVD, only from the Christian Broadcasting Network. Featuring experts on the cutting edge of neuroscience and brain health. No matter how many times you've failed in the past, you really can do this. In Protect Your Brain, you'll discover simple strategies to keep your brain young and healthy. Improve your memory. Discover the gut-brain connection in Protect Your Brain. Get your free copy at CBN.com or call 1-800-700-7000. If you want to improve the quality of your life, get the DVD, Protect Your Brain, and get it today. Big lie or big steal? Nearly one in three Americans thinks the 2020 presidential election was stolen. Despite the major media claiming it was the most secure election ever. Dale Hurd explains why a growing number of voters are demanding that their states conduct election audits. Watch mainstream media news reports about claims the 2020 election was stolen and you'll first be greeted with a banner that says such claims are false, bogus, or the big lie. Even the former head of cybersecurity for the federal government under Donald Trump says 2020 was the most secure election in U.S. history. Christopher Krebs was eventually fired by Trump. What's really developed is two different realities. It's the one we live in that's based on truth and trust, and the other that's based on whatever the former president says. But a recent Rasmussen poll shows almost one in three American voters now think the election was stolen. If Joe Biden did win fair and square, it was one of the strangest and most improbable victories in presidential election history one that went opposite to trusted election metrics that go back decades. There's a saying that where there's smoke, there's fire. And when it comes to claims that something was seriously amiss with the 2020 election results, there certainly seems to be a lot of smoke. Where's the smoke? For starters, thousands of sworn affidavits alleging election fraud or irregularities given under penalty of perjury. New Mexico State University law professor David Clements, a former assistant district attorney on the southern border, says the evidence of wrongdoing in the 2020 elections is far stronger than the drug cases he prosecuted. I've never had a case with this much evidence, with this degree of quality to the evidence in my entire career. Clements is assisting a volunteer army of thousands of concerned Americans meeting on the app Telegram under the name America First Audit, building a case for election fraud under the leadership of General Michael Flynn. Another leader of the group, former Army Captain Seth Keschel, an elections expert who correctly picked all 50 states in the 2016 election, says he's uncovered at least 8 million excess votes for Joe Biden 
votes that should not exist. It's easiest to find in states that track voters, register voters by party. And you can see the trend line where Biden's projected vote total should wind up. I estimate generously for Biden, and you still wind up with a total that's beyond logic. Keschel says his calculations show Trump won Pennsylvania, Georgia, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Arizona, and Nevada. Whether or not that's actually the case, we do know that Trump carried 18 of 19 bellwether counties, which have correctly predicted the winner of every presidential election since 1980. And yet somehow Trump lost. CBN News election analyst John Waggy. So these are the counties that we look at. I've been studying these things for more than 40 years. And what we look at are the counties where the presidential winner comes out on top every time. Trump also carried four bellwether states, Florida, North Carolina, Ohio, and Iowa. But Keschel says the most startling thing to him from the election was that Trump won Florida, but not Pennsylvania and Michigan. The three states have trended together since 1932. 88 years in a row, so 22 consecutive elections, Florida, Pennsylvania, and Michigan trend together. And then this year is the one where they no longer trend together. Other indicators that showed Trump should have won his overwhelming strength in the primaries. Trump was not a weak incumbent, regardless of what the media puts out there. Trump had one of the highest shares of primary vote ever, 94 percent. Another indicator for a Trump victory was his gaining a record 11 million more votes in 2020 than he did in 2016. From my perspective as an analyst, things have never added up about this election. I mean, Joe Biden campaigned from his basement and he finishes with far more votes than his predecessor, Barack Obama, it doesn't make sense. Dale Hurd joins us with more. Dale, you had a lot of information, I might add disinformation to wade through in preparing for this report. Of course, many people don't want to see election audits done because they don't think there's anything to these fraud claims. But you just laid out some of the concerns. Where are audits underway now? Which states are expected to start them soon? Well, I, I counted some six states where they've either been done or they're fighting over it in the courts or they want to do it. Uh, Maricopa County, Arizona, of course, is one of the most famous. Fulton County, Georgia, which is being exposed is so corrupt that the state legislature would like to take over the county election board. New Hampshire, Michigan, Wisconsin. Often there's a pattern where you have a Republican legislature and um, and you have big Democratic strongholds and they frankly, you know, don't have great track records and they want to see, they want to come on, was this a fair election or not? And and hey, can I just say that if, if, if Joe Biden won fair and square, why is anyone afraid of the audit? But even if they find miscalculations, ballot fraud, it's probably unlikely, Dale, that electoral votes will be rescinded from the Electoral College vote and a new election called, right? It should be done. And I think when Congress doesn't do it, because I agree with you, I don't think Congress will do anything. I think the 12th Amendment uh, of the Constitution is, is in play. And who is going to enforce the 12th Amendment that, that you know, that you need a certain amount of electoral votes to be president. And if you don't have them, you're not president. I don't know. I don't know who's going to defend the Constitution. The attitude is, well, Biden's been in for more than six months now, and uh, let's just make sure it's fair next time. But that's not really justice, is it? QAnon no. followers predict the Supreme Court's going to step in and nullify the election, and Trump will be reinstated as president. Now, that seems highly unlikely. Uh, the Supreme Court's already made several decisions rejecting election challenges. So, Dale, what's the likely outcome? What's likely to happen here? You know, I hate to tell you, I don't know, but, I, you know, I don't want to speculate. I wish someone would stand up. We have an epidemic of cowardice that has swept over this nation. And I wish someone would stand up and defend the Constitution. And that's something that we all need to pray about. Uh, Lord, please put the men and women up there who will defend this nation. Well, what I always pray for is righteousness and godliness in our government. That's right. Uh, Dale, another excellent job. Thank you for that informative report. I guess we'll see what happens in Arizona soon. And uh, thanks for providing those additional insights. Thank you, Gary. Introducing the CBN Bible from CBN.com. Now, an easier way to study the Bible and grow in your faith. 
Highlight your favorite verse. Read separate versions at a glance. Click and read a commentary. Or cross-reference your favorite verse using the Strong's Concordance. All the right tools to study the Bible. All in one place. The CBN Bible, available at cbn.com slash Bible or the iTunes App Store. This is CBN Newswatch. Thanks for joining us. Watch breaking news. Exclusive stories and programs. Credible news reporting. We show you what's happening in the world and how you can pray about it. This is CBN Newswatch. Because truth matters. Weekdays at 5 on the CBN News Channel. Superbook fans, here's something else you'll love. <laughs> it's the new Superbook Bible app. <laughs> it's packed with games, activities, and Superbook episodes that you can watch for free. Oh, no! There's trivia, a fun daily devotional, and answers to your Bible questions. Plus, an easy-to-understand Bible the whole family will enjoy. You can even create your own Superbook character. Ta-da! Come a... uh, sorry, pardon me. Sorry, excuse me. Ouch! Are you getting this? Earn super points to win daily prizes, too. And so much more! <sighs> Time to get back to my adventures. See you soon. It's the new Superbook Bible app. Free downloads on iTunes, Google Play, and Amazon. China and the world watched as the Taliban waltzed into power in Kabul this week. And alarmed Afghans tussled to get out. The Chinese Communist Party warned Taiwan that U.S. humiliation in Afghanistan means Taipei cannot depend on America's help if war breaks out with China. American weakness on display for the whole world to see during the Afghanistan withdrawal fiasco is leading to a more dangerous world. President Biden, the U.S. Congress and Department of Justice must take immediate steps to not only protect U.S. citizens from Islamic terrorists that may now find a safe haven in Afghanistan, but also from Chinese cyber terror, spying, and the theft of America's most vital secrets. Our leaders must no longer stand idly by while Beijing does its thing, robbing, stealing, and pillaging our nation's future. The spying allegations raised by the guests in today's program must be thoroughly investigated and addressed. One of America's closest allies, Japan, must be pressured to drop all charges against journalist Moe Fukada. The world does not need another Julian Assange in prison for exposing the truth. And both Japan and Taiwan must be put on notice if you fail to take steps to prevent the theft of U.S. secrets by Chinese Communist Party agents operating on your soil... America will withdraw its support. Let's pray they'll listen. The USA doesn't need to abruptly abandon the security needs of its East Asian friends, as it did with the Afghans. Well, that's it today from the Global Lane. Be sure to follow us on the CBN News and NRB channels, social media, and our broadcast affiliates. And until next time, be blessed.